Do, 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 Taylor Watch. Welcome back to another episode of Taylor Watch. This is a massive episode. Yes. Because, Gia, why? Why? Is this so big? Is it because maybe we've gotten all we've wanted? Because Taylor <laughs> Swift is a Super Bowl champion. Woo! <laughs> Congratulations, Taylor, on your rookie year win. Yes, this is I know amazing. you fought hard for it. She played hard. Yep. She coached the team. You yep. know, she was the moral support. She was um, the backbone of yeah. the team, if yeah. we're being yeah. real. She's the backbone of the city of Kansas City. And, yes, uh, the Kansas City Chiefs won Super Bowl 58 over the San Francisco 49ers. Yep. Sad for them. They play, it, was a, it was a good game, though. It was it, a good game. It got good. It was yes. boring at the beginning. So I was like, what the, the fuck are we doing here? Yeah. Then it got really good. A couple of close moments where we yep. thought – that they were going to win or that the Chiefs were going to win. They ended up going into overtime, and yep. everybody was holding their breath for 15 minutes, and it yeah. was just a uh, very intense game, but exciting. Before we get into all of that, mm. um, let's let's rewind back. Let's okay. go chronologically. We'll talk okay. about the Super Bowl, yeah. but we have to talk about how our girl spent four nights in Tokyo. Killing it. Before, she, before yeah. the Super Bowl Crazy. even happened. Yeah. So I think that that alone – we always discuss her like stamina, how yeah, she yeah. like does she sleep, how how does she get around, how does she live her life? And I and as of now, as of you know, ten minutes ago, we're still seeing videos yeah. rolling in of her out partying, partying night. last night. I know, it's crazy. What the hell, man? I don't know she how just, she does it. Do you think she drinks coffee? Or like I, energy drinks or something. She must tea. She she sings about tea sometimes. Yeah, she does drink a lot of tea. But tea I, though doesn't give you energy like I that. I feel like she must have like IV or something Has like to, liquid yeah. IV or something like that. Like on the plane, like while she's sleeping, they just like inject her with something. No, like, for real though. I don't know. At the in the same vein that I'm looking for her skincare routine, right. I'm looking for her diet. I'm looking yeah. for her workout routine. Although she did kind of give us that the the running on the treadmill, running, singing, singing and whatever. Yeah. I equally need to know her hangover cures. Right. And, like, what's her – when she's dehydrated, what does she do? I know, and I was thinking that, too. Like, I wonder how many drinks, like, gets her, like, too drunk or, like – For sure, Like, if right. she's, like – if she throws up. What's her up, limit? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah what's her favorite kind of liquor? Yeah. <laughs> I want to know everything. I feel like gin. I feel like she's, like, she's a gin a, and she, soda. I feel Looks like, like she, she was drinking gin. some sort of, like, cranberry – like a vodka soda with a splash she's of probably crayon. Always a, she's probably a vodka girl, vodka yeah. soda. Well, she drinks whiskey sometimes, whiskey on ice. You know, yeah. she sings about it. She also obviously loves a, a white wine. Yeah. We rarely see her drinking red. But it looked like she was drinking some sort of, at the after party, it looked yeah. like she was looking, She was drinking some sort of sipping some sort of uh, liquor and soda. Sipping on gin and juice, perhaps. Yeah. Could be. Could be. Could be. Yeah. Mine and my money and my money on my mind. Oh. That's the song, you know. Yeah, spin on gin and yeah, juice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I was, I was nervous for a second. I was like, oh, no. I know Did that. She I know, not that. know yeah. gin and juice. Yeah. Like, am, is that what's happening to me? Yeah. Oh, my God. So, anyway, before we get into the Super Bowl, um, we we obviously must address the Tokyo shows. Mm. We're, we're keeping track of the surprise songs. I woke up every day. Good for you. And uh, I wasn't up for very long. That app that I talked about last week, that, yeah. like, Swift. Oh, i got to look it up the name of it again because I honestly cannot rec- – Swift Alert – cannot recommend it more for keeping track of things like this. Like right. I have this little I printed out all of these all of <laughs> tour the dates. tour dates so we can reference them whenever we want yeah. at a moment's notice. This is going to live on my desk and I'm just writing the surprise songs in the side of them once they've already been uh once they've already happened. Mm. But again, you don't need to do any of this with the app. Like I'm just right. making I'm doing this for well, just yeah. to do it's it. It's fun you know? to do it ourselves. It's too. just fun sometimes yeah. to yeah. have a highlighter and like yeah. play. Totally. But um but I didn't realize before the other day that it was going to be uh four shows i thought it was three I think right we talked about that on uh on thursday yeah we did and um and she just she crushed every single one her second show let's see first show we talked about it she did dear reader and holy ground mm. second show was eyes open and electric touch mm. third show was superman and the outside cute um, the outside, I like don't know that. I song. don't know that. Song. Like I felt, no. I was like, oh, I need to revisit debut. Uh, I, I, I like know. don't know it. Can I tell you another deep confession? Oh God, that I didn't even realize that I like don't know this song. What I know it, but I, like not really. What Mary's song? <gasps> I know. I no know. way, Kelly. I yeah. don't know how it slipped through the cracks. Uh, oh, the that's debut like, songs. That's like m- it's one the of the song. only. Yeah, that's like one of the only debut songs. I, I like like Mary's song and I'm only me when I'm with you yeah. or like my two. Yeah, I'm only me when, when I'm with you. you. Yeah, I love like that's such a uh, windows down driving. Call me up yeah, when you're not down. it's great. Don't want 
want to fly your feet still on the ground. Yeah. See, even that, I like can't. If I were to, if it were playing right now, I'd be able to sing along. Yeah. But off the top of my head, that song, I'm only moving on with you, whatever. Mary's song, I can't think of the tune in my head. Oh. I'll be 87, you'll be 89. I'll still look at you like the stars that shine I, in the sky. It's shocking I just, how I don't I, know. It's such a cute, like, um, I feel like Dave would like that song. I, bet he, I bet he does. It has numbers story in it. It's a storyline. Yeah, yeah. storyline has yeah. numbers. It's about, like, well, two kids growing up, and their parents are, like, always joked that they would, like, be together. I, I was they, reading yeah. the lyrics last night because I came upon this discovery of my, my shortcoming and, and the disgrace that I'm bringing to the podcast by mm. not knowing Mary's song because the, I'll be 87 and you'll yeah. be 89. Yeah. And I was like, this is insane. Like, this, it's just, there are so many things. I just saw so many things before we sat down. Like, there's so many invisible strings. But anyway, okay. So uh, night three, Tokyo, she sings Superman on the outside. Yeah. And then night four, she sings Come In Ugh, With The Rain. This, this uh, was a hard one for me. Tough. Yeah, yeah. And You're On Your Own Kid. And which You're On Your Own Kid, yeah. People so politely reminded me that um, I, I was saying, like, oh, my God, You're On Your Own Kid, already gone again, like, whatever. Mm. But a reminder, I also forgot that she uh, can do midnights she whenever, do midnights right? Yeah, whenever. yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Yes, she okay. can do midnights whenever. Yeah. Although she has played "You're on Your Own Kid" four times now. I know it's kind of so, crazy. Which I mean, love like yeah. we love that song. Play it as many times as you want. Play it Paris night too, maybe like play it whenever. <laughs> but um, but I think that like I think that song has like a very deep connection to totally, her. Obviously, totally, totally, yeah. Yeah. People are like, don't be shy, add it to the set list. I'm like, yeah, that'd be amazing. I totally. Like, just add one more I'm surprised in. she did it, honestly. I'm surprised, too, because it's yeah. a really good song. So anyway, so that's what's going on in Tokyo. And then, um, oh, oh, wait, so I have other things, too. She, <laughs> this is me. There are too, so, too many things that I wanted to bring up today yeah. that I was like, I have to, I have to write she these down. She almost fell. Almost fell. Yeah. Tripped. Coming down the folklore cabin, yeah. and then gave a hilarious thing afterwards, and was like, "I'm just really glad I didn't fall off the yeah, folklore she, cabin." Yeah, like, and, and this she, is the lesson we've learned. Yeah, that she was like, "I think there's a lesson in this. Yeah. Like, don't fall off the folklore cabin." Like, totally. Yeah, that was really cute. It, it always humanizes her more Completely. to me, like when she like makes jokes about that, like when she swallowed the bug. Hilarious. Yeah, yeah that yeah. was so. When funny. her microphone wasn't working and she was screaming into it. Yeah, 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 <laughs> so yeah, yeah. One of my favorite memories. Yeah. of of the tour. That's and why I loved um, Harry Styles tour so much because he would talk so much oh, yeah. and like make jokes and like involve mm -hmm. the crowd and all that stuff. And I felt like that was missing a little bit with the Ares tour. Like obviously she talks to the crowd, but it's mm -hmm. not like. Um, like it's not the long winded. Fun, the funny, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's got a, yeah. she's got a lot, of, a got, lot to do got, in a yeah, short yeah, amount exactly, of time. Exactly. So there's not a lot of time for talking. But I appreciate that makes me appreciate those moments like totally. that. Totally. Yeah. And I know that I obviously had never been to any of her other tours, wasn't able to go to them. But people say that on her other tours, she does, she used to like talk. Oh, more. okay, yeah. I don't know. I mean, it makes sense on a three I and a half hour fucking tour. Like you can't, right, you can't show, like, you can't. Right. Be chatting away. Right. No yeah. time. She yeah. also, um, she also before singing, it was either night two or three, I forget, of Tokyo, where she said, I'm going to play two new songs that I've never performed live before. Mm -hmm. And the place oh, went yeah, crazy. crazy. Yeah. And then she was like, oh, wait, no, 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 that's not what I meant. Like, not new songs. Yeah. Just songs I've never she, played live before. Yeah, she was like, I'm so sorry. Poor choice of words. Poor choice of words. Yeah. But she apologized immediately because you, the ground swell, like, you could even tell through I the video, like, imagine. it was fucking crazy. Yeah. People went nuts. So that was nuts. Um, somebody also put together a compilation of all of these surprise songs, all six of them, or two, four, six, eight of them. And they all kind of go together somehow. Like, they oh. all had, like, fall in them somehow i wish okay. i could i wish i I, don't, I thought i bookmarked the tweet but something about the lyrics and all these songs kind of kind of come together in, in the, the, there's a theme apparently yeah. um something else that someone said that i thought it was really interesting to bring up is that um they think that people are upset that midnights didn't get its own tour hmm. And so people are like, oh, all these good songs from Midnight's we never get to hear, yeah. like, blah, blah, whatever. And then this girl was like, well, actually, I think that the Eras tour could be considered Midnight's tour. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, Midnight's is a collection of sleepless nights in her life. And she's putting on a show detailing all of these times in her life and the Midnight's at the end to wrap it all yeah, up. Yeah, totally. So it kind of makes sense in that way. But I thought that was an interesting yeah. way to think about it. Yeah, I think it. there's. There's a good amount of midnight songs at the end, There's right? A lot of midnights. Karma Bejeweled, Midnight Rain, and does she do midnight Lavender Rain, Haze? Mastermind, oh, Lavender Mastermind. Haze. Yeah. She does a lot. Yeah, she does a lot. And uh yeah, you know, there's a couple that I that I love on Midnights that I wish she would do more of. But yeah. she she hits she gets all the hits. Yeah. But I but I did think that, that was an interesting way to think about it. Like 
like midnights is like almost as if like the Eras tour itself is in a, a dreamlike state and we're in, we are in midnights and yeah. we're dreaming about everything else right yeah and then, at the, and then once midnights is done we, yeah. we wake up it's kind of like that girl's theory that she sent to us like midnights is like the chaos of like completely what, what you're dreaming dream. waking up in the middle of the mm-hmm. night and then like torture poets department it's like completely the, the morning after kind of completely. realizations yes um also to do with this whole tour traveling whatever right okay so she does four shows spectacular love it nothing yep. crazy happens no announcements no nope. <laughs> fine <laughs> i my i'm never gonna I'm talk sorry. about it again i'm yeah. never gonna talk about it again because i feel like there are well we'll get to another moment later where we got fucking trolled last night oh i know uh, by taylor nation yeah i've got her number two but so <laughs> um but so what was the topic of conversation all weekend somehow in the most ridiculous way was the fact that there's this fucking creep who is stalking Taylor Swift's jet. Oh, the, kid, the, the college Jack, kid. what's his yeah, face? Yeah, 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 Stalking yeah. her jet, claiming to be just a guy who tracks all jets and all celebrities and exposes their CO2 emissions and blah, 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 whatever. Who gives a fuck, <laughs> dude? Who gives a fuck? Anyway, he's this rich college kid. He's not just like a, yeah. this, this like, oh, p- please sir you know he's fucking he's like yeah. traveling on private jets himself right so whatever and he's doing all the shit he uh you know is talking about how like just giving exact times spaces like publicizing this information about taylor swift's jet yeah. which of course is already public information however the tracking of it is concerning and at, so at this point Taylor's team had reached out to him with a cease and desist and said, you have to stop doing this yeah. because it's drawing attention. Not that like people can't find it. Yeah, exactly. Like, who's it, thinking about like, making, I, I got to track that jet. Like, yeah. I'm not ever thinking about that unless somebody's telling me like, look how easy it is to track Taylor Swift's jet. Yeah, like that's crazy. fucking crazy. And you're also, to do. it's just adding so much more recognition to the fact, you know completely, what I mean? Yeah, completely. So, um, so he's talking about this. She flew to Tokyo. He was tracked the whole thing. It was ridiculous. She sends a cease and desist, blah, blah, blah. He's doubling down saying it's X, Y, Z, whatever. On her way back from Tokyo, mm. she did not fly in her plane mm. and she did not have her name on the plane, like nothing. Right. But the planes were called, like there were two planes. Something yeah. About yeah. It. I don't know. They were called like football era and like something else. And, um, this guy was tracking those planes as well, tracking mm. it as Taylor Swift. Oh, and he got the wrong plane. And so, no, 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 he got the right plane. But what it, what that does, this is what all my all my Twitter lawyers have told me this. Oh. What that does is open up the case for Taylor against him that he is in fact stalking her, not just her plane, right. as he previously said that he was stalking. Uh, so this guy's going I mean he can't we're tree pain is 10 steps ahead dude like uh, just stop I, I will just never says, hey stop posting on Twitter about where the fuck my jet is all the time yeah I, I have stalkers and a life and people are gonna come after me and I'm afraid for my safety yeah. and you say fuck you bitch I'm gonna I'm gonna expose you for all your carbon emissions it's when like, you're not even in the top care? 30 of people who have done this I, it's fucking crazy I don't get the whole People getting so pressed about Taylor Swift and the private planes I don't get because it. it's just like. Did we like, talk about this on Thursday? I don't know. I don't know either. I can't remember what day it happened. It's it's been going on for days. It's I feel. just so I weird to me because she. Okay, I get it. The CO two emissions. It's really not good. Kim Kardashian is taking a flight from fucking St. Louis to Beast boat to forty five minutes. Literally, like a, literally not, not even, even a thirty minute. Minutes. Yeah, like it's really bad for the environment. Yeah, but I think Taylor Swift. People don't realize she buys the carbon credits, yeah. which like offsets all of her carbon emissions. Mm-hmm. She never once has been like, save the trees, like save the that planet, is what fucking save gets the me. climate. People like, are like, she's, she's such not a fucking hypocrite. Greta Thunberg. I'm like, she's not a hypocrite at all. In yeah. one interview, one time, she said global warming is bad and <laughs> and and sucks that it's happening to our planet. Like yeah. that's basically what she said. Yeah. She's never done anything to to make us think that she's some sort yeah. of climate no. activist literally Absolutely never in a million years nothing I she's don't... like bitch i fly on a private jet every day because yeah. i can't fly commercial yeah like, she has no other option what like literally what do people want her to do it is the swim? only way no really swim like they it want is her to the take a yacht yeah for her to get around it's and crazy. it's you no know, she really can't like uh, because i 
went down a rabbit hole this weekend looking for these things because people were up in arms about it. And the, the confirmed, she never fucking talks about the environment. She just doesn't. And cause she, cause she's not a hypocrite. Yeah, if she were to be talking about it nonstop, yes. It'd be like, all right, girl, like relax. It'd yeah. be like the same vibe as, as Leo when Leo was like, save oh, yeah, the whales, yeah. save the ocean. Y- meanwhile, he has the biggest yacht in the world. Yeah. and flies it around. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah, it's just the silly. Italian islands all the time. Yeah. But so whatever, that's all happening. What I found as well is that um, she? Oh shoot! I, I lost my I lost my train. Oh. I was doing research. Oh yeah, she once, kind of recently, maybe during 1989 era, mm. tried to take a commercial flight oh. and was the the airport was so mobbed I, that it was impossible. Like once she, she got can't there, even go to she couldn't even get to security. Shore yeah. for a friend's right. wedding. Like how do right. people think that she can go to? She an was like airport? trying to go through security and she couldn't even do it. Like she, it was the pictures from it are insane. Yeah, it's absolute insanity. I've never seen anything like. I just it. think so, it's it's like they're trying to. People are really trying to come at her for any fucking reason. It's and crazy. it's like, it just really makes no sense it's to me. It's just hatred. It reminds me of the, did you watch Big Little Lies? Of course. The sound that trend is trending on TikTok right now. And it's Reese Witherspoon. It's when her daughter's like talking to her about like the homeless people. And she's like, yeah. I don't give a fuck. Oh, yeah, I don't give yeah. a fuck about homeless people. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't give a fuck about Taylor Swift's yeah, yeah. CO2 emissions. Okay. No, I, I, I don't, don't give a like, fuck. You can sue I've me never for give saying less of a that. Fuck. You can cru- like you no, can cancel me. I don't, I don't care. give a fuck. She gets the carbon credits. Like, Listen, what do you want from her? Okay. We're, we are, by the way, all gonna die. So it doesn't <laughs> matter. And if I was gonna her, die, if I was rich the way she was, I would be flying in private planes I would all be, the time. No, if I was rich like that, I'd be flying the 12 minute flight like fucking Kim Kardashian. <laughs> yeah. Like I would be. That yeah. would be me. Like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. fuck. Every single time I see some bullshit about like private jets provide X percentage of the ozone layer, blah, blah, blah. You know what's presenting it or uh, what's breaking the ozone down? Fucking Amazon, Shein, like the the massive companies. Oil shit, yeah. That's what's happening. Planes, planes are are barely making up any of it. Planes are not the problem, guys. Like let's let's put it in perspective. There's a bigger picture here. It's a much bigger picture. But yeah, it's just funny because like obviously I care about the fucking climate change it sucks and it's really scary but you know it's totally what scary. is taylor again, swift supposed to do you know about we're it? all gonna be dead it's it's yeah. great to to wish for a greater world mm. but i'm telling you right now like we can recycle all the bottles we want and we can take all the commercial flights we want and and th- sh- yeah. we're still fucked there's it's no too late. world where celebrities too aren't gonna fly private no it's not there's gonna just happen. no world it's not gonna happen it yeah. just can't happen so let's let's put that to bed already <laughs> yeah because by the way she'll be getting on a plane and going to australia in a couple days <laughs> yeah. so everybody needs to calm the fuck down <laughs> yeah. she's about to fly some planes all over the world because her inner international tour has started yeah so get used to it get used to it's it it's just incredible it's it truly ridiculous is incredible. it's ridiculous yeah um all right so now now she she gets on the plane we're going yeah, the last thing touched, i had written she touches down touches down the last thing i had written this doesn't have to do with that but mm. it was something that you sent me that I thought it was really funny um just a, a psa to all a warning to Ooh. some um don't uh just just you know Make sure your birth control is on, on lock right now. Make sure you're pulling out. Make sure you're wearing condoms oh, if you're not trying to get pregnant. <laughs> yes. Yes. Because nine months from now, Taylor Swift will be a back on tour in the United yes. States. And you don't want to be. Okay, yes. And, and speaking like Canadian, on behalf. I think it was like Canadian, Canadian people. The Canadian like, people. Yeah. I think that's what it is. Sorry. Yeah. Canadian people. But also right around, right around now. Because I'll tell you what. The people in my life that did not anticipate mm. getting pregnant and p- missing the concert that we're all going to, yeah. they missed out. I, we've had a lot of people drop out yeah. from pregnancy. If you're, if so you're going to go to the club in Miami, you want to shake mm-hmm. your ass, you want to get some dick. Time that out. Have some safe sex. Just for a couple more months. Because you do not want to have. It all depends. What's yeah. more, what is important to you? Is it do That's you not true. Do you not mind being Losing your six, tickets seven, over? eight months pregnant? At a Taylor Swift concert, <laughs> that or would be, that would be really hard. It would be really hard. Yeah, it'd be really hard. I've got a friend that's it's it's. We're gonna see how yeah. it goes. So like, freaking people are trying. Get your rubbers. You can do it. Stronger women than I. Yes, yes. Because I could never. But that is real. Uh, watch Keep yourself because we are we are back in tour season. <laughs> it's tour yeah. year. So yeah. mind mind your dates that yeah. you're going, your aspirations, and and you know wrap it up if you need. <laughs> yeah, don't skip your pill. Don't skip your pill. Yeah. You know, do whatever you got to do. Yeah. Anyway, that was just a, that was the last thing. Yeah, about, that is funny. about the tour. Um. Oh, and you know what? As well with the tour. Um. Let's let's hear from our good friends at Babbel. I um. Let's hear from our good friends at Babbel because uh, as we all know, 
this international tour is just going to be uh, sweeping the nation, taking yep. over our lives for the next for the next year, for the full calendar year coming up. So exciting. Taylor obviously just finished up in Tokyo, Japan. She spoke a little Japanese to the crowd. Yeah, that was so cute. She said arigato gozaimasu, yeah. which, oh. is, which I know because I went to Japan. <laughs> <laughs> I just love to, to say that I went to Japan because I did. But um, that's what they say. They say it's like, thank you very much. Hi, welcome, whatever. It's like a all kind of an all-purpose thing, which is really fun. But I wonder... Who, uh, how she learned it? Did she use a language learning service similar mm. to Babbel? Because this is this is the future. Okay, we need to start learning more languages. I think it's ridiculous. M- myself, it's been it's like a big insecurity that yeah. I have. I'm learning I, Italian. It's fantastic. I'm yeah. I'm t- trying to learn French ahead of uh, ahead of the Taylor show. I need to ha- I need to brush up a little bit. We did mm. a little bit like you know in elementary school, right. whatever, but like not enough. And um and I think it's my biggest um insecurity is that I don't speak another language. I think it's I think it's kind of trashy that I don't and uh, and thank God we have Babbel here yeah. to to make ourselves better. So we can in fact be a better you in 2024 with Babbel, the science backed language learning app that actually works. Don't pay hundreds of dollars for private tutors or waste hours on apps that don't really help you speak the language. They have quick 10 minute lessons designed with over designed by over 150 language experts to help you start speaking a new language in as little as three weeks. Yeah. So I've got, I've got like two and a half months. I got plenty of time. I'm yeah, hell yeah. I'll be so fluent by the time we get there. Next time, next time, uh, Babbles on the pod with us. I will update you on my on my French. Maybe I'll, I'll throw a little French out. Ooh, I would love that. That would be fun. Um, let's see. Studies from Yale, Michigan State University, and others continue to prove Babbel is better. Oh yeah, that's right. Go green. Yeah. Um, one study found that using Babbel for 15 hours is equivalent to a full semester at college. Y'all, this is, this is you know, get involved in this. Over yeah. 10 million subscri- subscriptions sold. There's 14 language courses backed by a 20-day money-back guarantee. So if you try it and you're just like, hey, listen, I'm not trying to expand my life. I'm not trying to, you know, bring culture into mm. my world and mm. I want to stay boring as right. I am. You Stimulate have my there. brain. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So here is a special limited time, limited time deal. You can get 55% off your Babbel subscription. 55% That's is a, great a number. massive, yeah. massive deal but only for our listeners at taylor watch babble.com slash keegs 55 percent off again babble.com slash keegs b-a-b-b-e-l.com slash keegs rules and restrictions may apply so that is just a, something to think about yeah when when planning your international travel um taylor touches down las vegas she was in LA, Las actually. Vegas. Did she, did yeah, she it was actually fly from LA. LA and yes. then take a car. I think. To Vegas I think or so. Yeah. Yeah. Because okay. that drive is what, like three hours or something. People were saying a lot yeah. of people drove from LA, except for Kim K. Did not. <laughs> of course, she didn't. Kim K. Took a plane. Yeah. Um. You know, fifteen minute plane. Nobody's <laughs> nobody's giving her shit for it. But anyway, so touches down in LA, um, drives to Vegas, shows up Saturday night. We all knew that she was going to get there within plenty of time. Yeah. Yeah. Um. You know, obviously doesn't go out. I'm sure she didn't. Like maybe she saw Travis. Like I don't know. I don't. What do think, you think? I doubt they probably saw each not. other, honestly, because I feel like he's probably in like such a headspace where it's like I don't want to like fuck anything up. And yeah. like I feel like they apparently he made a speech to his team that made the team cry. I heard about the that the night before. So I think it was um, a lot of team camaraderie time. Got it. Yeah, team bu- team bonding. I love that. Yeah, making sure we're all in the same. I would space. think that too. Right. Like yeah. people aren't people aren't going back to to the wives and girlfriends. No. no right. No. I don't think so. Day before the Super Bowl yeah, doesn't I seem think like you, you just gotta get your mind right. No gotta stress. get your mind right. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um. So that's all exciting. Um. Then the Super Bowl. It's yep. it's now Super Bowl Sunday. Yep. Taylor shows up with such a cute her outfit. Super cute outfit. Um, I already I already wrote down the top was Dion Lee. Yeah, cute. Dion Lee also dresses the likes of Ice Spice, who is there with her. Oh, so I thought that love. was interesting. Maybe they both got a little little deal ski going yeah. on there. Um, Taylor arrives, besties in tow. She has Blake Lively. Yep. Um, Ice Looking Spice like a bougie Sue Sylvester. Big time. <laughs> Ice y- yes. <laughs> Ice Spice, Ashley Avignon is on the yep. scene. Yep, with her Bob Bobbin. With her Bob Bobbin, her yep. Bob is always Bobbin. Yep. nobody's Bob hard's Bob's harder than than <laughs> Ashley Avignon, and I res- and I love the shit out, I out of her for that. that. I respect yeah. the fuck yeah. out of that. That is a Bobbin Bob. Yeah. And um, who else was there? Oh, uh, Miles and Kelly Teller. Yeah, sh- it seemed like they showed up a little. They later. showed up a little yeah. late in the booth. I think that they were probably there, like yeah. just themselves, fucking around. Doing Lana stuff. Del Rey was in the building yep. as yep. well. Um, she was, you know. Throwing her hands up, Lana Del Rey got fucking crushed by 
with somebody. Do you see that? I felt so oh bad. Oh my god, me too. Like, I felt bad because I feel like after the whole Grammys thing, no, and then totally. She gets the, like, she gets the. I don't feel like any of this is her vibe. Like she's no. just like I, she probably just wants to like, hang out at home. Getting crushed by a crowd <laughs> during the Super Bowl is probably the last thing Lana Del Rey. It like, was like ever. the win, or like it was a touchdown. Yeah, it was like something. when they scored, when they, she something just, happened. <laughs> She and somebody else, the... right, somebody else jumped up and, like, basically bodied her. Her, yeah, bodied her to the ground. It was fucking, holy, like, really funny, yeah. but I hope she's okay. I know. it looked yeah. rough. It looked I, like a rough hit. I, I would have been mad. I would have been so pissed, yeah, too. I'd have been like, like the fuck? I'm yeah. leaving. Like, the yeah. fuck? Like, so I'm literally angry. Literally, Lana Del Rey. Like, what the fuck are you <laughs> yeah. doing? Show some fucking respect. Yeah. Like, I would be so pissed. Oh, also, a, a good thing we didn't, I don't think we get to talk about on Thursday, which I know you love, oh. is the fact, uh, who, who paid for the... Who oh, paid for the suite? Travis Kelsey with Travis these Kelsey. big bucks. Woo woo, cha ching yep. cha ching. A man yeah, with a job. Scott Swift was gagged. <laughs> <laughs> so was funny. Tight. That tweet was so funny. It was hilarious. He's like, he's never seen someone pay for something before. No, literally. Yeah. Scott Swift has no idea. Speaking of Scott Swift, who like raided the merch store before he. <laughs> It's so cute. Like, it no, really so is cute. so precious. The Chiefs jacket, Everything. the Chiefs shirt, the Chiefs hat. <laughs> he was ready to freaking go. And you know what, Scott? That's kind of BS because whatever happened to the Eagles? No, he's he's like, fuck the Eagles now. Yeah. He's like, nah, forget like, it. Kylie I'm, Kelsey I'm was now. like, I will not put on any Chiefs merch. Like, I'll She's wear my loyal. Cincinnati Bearcats, and that's as much as you're going to get. Yep. But f- Scott Swift, he. He was quick to turn. He's all in. Yeah, he's the grass all in. is always he's greener. Excited. He's excited. Yeah, I, I was, mean, of course. I, I feel was, like it's hilarious. Any dad would be like that. Honestly, I was trying though, to think, think about. You, well, your your family though are so diehard yeah. Eagles that it would be crazy. Like my dad doesn't have. Like my dad is technically a Jets fan, but I don't think his allegiance like stretches right. that fa- that right. far. Yeah. that he wouldn't wear right. a Chiefs something. I don't yeah. know if he'd deck it out like Scott. Although I don't know though. I mean, it's like it was so how exciting! Cool. Like what an exciting it's so day, exciting. fun, and yeah. it's all like the Super Bowl merch too. Yeah. like that's cool. Like that's that's limited edition. Yeah, you know? it's very cute. So Scott's up hilarious. Andrea was also there. Yeah. It's almost like she heard us last I week. I said, where's Andrea? She's at the game. Well, She's fine. speaking of that. Austin I, and his girlfriend as well. Oh, I didn't yeah. see him. Mm-hmm. They were both there. I th- I am kind of scared that Olivia Culpo read my blog because. Oh, no. Why? Um, her uh, Christian McCaffrey's mom went on some podcast and was like, oh, like big bucks Olivia and like big bucks uh, Christian, like couldn't afford a Super Bowl suite, blah, blah, blah. Oh. And I and my blog was like. Like, is uh, Mrs. McCaffrey, like, the monster-in-law, whatever? And Olivia Colbo posted a TikTok and was like, oh, my monster-in-law's here. Like, get in the video. Gia! Gia, she 100% did. What what was your blog? I didn't even, I don't think I saw it. (gasps) It was like, Christian Christian McCaffrey's (laughs) mom, like, calls Christian and Olivia Colbo poor. (laughs) (laughs) No! Because she, she like, basically yeah. did call them poor. She was like, I want to. Oh, yeah, here it is. Yeah. Christian McCaffrey's mom poor shamed his fiance <laughs> Olivia Culpo, into buying a suite for the Super Bowl. Yeah. She, like. We looked into his suite, and none of us can afford it, Lisa said. Not even Christian or money bags over there. N- or not even Christian money bags over there, nor money bags Olivia. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I believe like- for one second. They didn't want to buy Lisa the suite. She seems ungrateful. <laughs> this is hilarious. Spilling the beans on her podcast, calling them poor. Lisa, why do you even have a podcast in the first place? I wouldn't yeah. want to put my mom in a suite if she's going to call me poor. Yeah. Christian McCaffrey makes $12 million a year. He can afford a suite. Uh, I'm, sure if Olivia, I'm sure Olivia could. No way in hell they can't afford it. Yeah, and I was like, is she? And then you said, yeah, 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 let's say. Lisa McCaffrey may be the monster-in-law. She put her son and future daughter-in-law on blast. She could get in her suite. That was yeah. all the master plan I see right through you. That's fucking hilarious, and I am completely aligned, Gia. I'm because why would kinda, you say that? I know. I'm kind of convinced that she saw it. And like, no, no, 100%. Sorry, Olivia, so, but... so she was trying to like smooth it over, being like, oh, my monster in law. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But also, if you're Olivia. I think they have a really good relationship. I'm her. sure. Yeah. She, maybe she was kidding. Like, oh, because yeah. I say that about people. I'm like, oh, yeah, money bags over here. Oh, like, yeah. My I, mom I say says that, that about always. Francesca all the time. Always, yeah. always. And so, but that's hilarious. Maybe she just was like <laughs> making Joe. I don't know. That's so. I know. One billion percent they saw the blog. One billion fucking percent. And I think that's hilarious. I like, mean, so funny. She ended so up. She, funny. she ended up freaking buying the suite. She was in the suite. Who, yeah. the, the mom? Olivia Culpo Olivia bought the did. suite. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Poor Olivia. She doesn't. Christian McCaffrey, like, come I, on. I don't understand. Yeah, I don't come understand. On. I think, I, and I looked it's it up. It's also hard and, like, to compete with like Taylor Swift and all the you know. They, I they know. Have, oh, have so much I money. Know. Travis Kelsey has so much money. Like, ugh. You can't – it's hard to – I feel bad for the, the, the WAGs and the NFL players and whatever who have to, like, 
like have a pissing contest with the other yeah. NFL yeah. people. Like yeah. it's just not fair. Like it's just so. And also, you the would range think, like, in the players who gets paid get, what? Yeah, you think the players would get like first dibs on sweets? At like, least yeah. you think that's crazy right. to me that they would have to pay for their family to. have I wonder sweet. how many sweets. Let's look it up. I wonder how many suites are in that. What's it? Allegiant Stadium? Yeah. How there has to be at least 10. In Allegiant. I would say more. I'm going to yeah. say like 40. You think? Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, Allegiant Stadium many? has 128 oh. executive suites as well as 44 loge boxes. L-O-G-E. Almost all of the suites in the oh. stadium are owned on long-term leases. This means availability for single event rentals are no doubt limited. Okay. Mm. So... The Sweet Experience Group, which provides suites for the Super Bowl, offers six options. Oh, so people like own options. suites. Yes. Okay, that makes sense. I guess. Wait, it says the Sweets Experience the Sweet Experience Group, which provides suites for the Super Bowl, offers six suite options. Okay, so there yeah, are yeah, that's what I saw. And six there was different like, kinds of yes, suites, and and it starts at like two hundred fifty k, and then like right. goes all the way to like a crazy number. Like I want to say like three it. million or something like that. It says, for the highest of high rollers, a private luxury suite that seats 20 people in the owner's club section will set you back 2.5 million. Yeah, okay. So that's what that's pretty much what, uh, what Taylor, Tra- Taylor yeah, was yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's also what they said that he um, – that that's how much he paid was two point five million mm. for it. But at this at this point, I mean, like he's got it like that. So yeah, yeah, obviously, he has to house all these people: his friends, Taylor's whole family, his whole family. Jason's there. Like yeah. it's, a, it's a big deal. So yeah. I I think that it made total sense for for um, Travis to buy that box for whatever. Totally. I think poor Olivia Culpo <laughs> and Christian McCaffrey. Maybe they could have gone in on a suite with a yeah, couple of people like, like Brock Purdy's crew <laughs> and like the, you know a Rob couple Purdy people. makes like no money. True, it's but I mean, how true? I guess uh, he doesn't even make a million a year. He makes like eight hundred k or something like that. Makes like me that. so devastated. Yeah, and then like cutie baby, the L A. or California taxes like. Damn. Yeah, he makes like not that much money, which is crazy. That's he's so a Super crazy. Bowl. He's a Super Bowl guy. Yeah. Bummer. Well, I, I was. How many times could they have said last night like he was the last pick? I, <laughs> I was like, God, rub it I in. No, like, like, come on, bro. Jesus, he, he's good. Yeah. My mom, you know, my mom was rooting for the 49ers last oh, night. Really? She texted me this text. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read it out loud. She'll appreciate it. I said, um, she goes, "Sorry, Kel, oh. I have to root for SF." Purdy is so adorable and uh, got hurt last year and robbed. KC has won plenty. Do you know what Purdy did while on break? Mowed his fiance's cornfields because it was time. Go SF. And I okay. Said, and I a Brock her, Purdy stand. I sent her emojis like this, three in a row, <laughs> and I said, I must banish your juju. She goes, still love Taylor. Yeah. And then, and then later on, she goes, oh, my God, we didn't discuss Travis Kelsey yelling at Andy Reid. Oh, well, I thought that was going to be brought up eventually, but well, yeah. my mom we, goes, did you catch Kelsey anger towards Reed concerns for Taylor? I said, chill. <laughs> yeah. Pe- chill. That, when chill. when I saw that happen, when it was Tra- kind of crazy. Travis like went up to Andy Reed and bo- he, he bodied it. Well, here's what I, here's what I think happened. And Andy Reed has since released a statement. Yeah. And he said, he everything startled fine. him. Like yeah, he, he yeah. didn't, Andy Reed did not know that Travis Kelsey was coming up on his right. And Travis Kelsey came up and yelled at him in his face and he jumped a yes, mile. Like yes. He got scared yes. by it. And then he's hanging on. He's frustrated, whatever. But it was kind of crazy. It was. And I'll say this about the game. Uh, every game that they have played leading up to this, it's been like the Chiefs are the cool, calm, collected mm-hmm. ones. And the other team is like aggressive for no reason and ends up like losing their footing and losing. And it gets embarrassing and they get all these flags and whatever. Yeah. The Ravens specifically like this. They were like that. The Bills were kind of like second half were kind of like that, too. And so this game, going into it, all of a sudden the Chiefs are acting like that. Yeah, and I they, was like, they oh, seem, no. They seem like they kind of lost their composure in the first completely, half a little bit. Completely. Yeah. yeah. Completely. So I was worried for our guy. Yeah. And, and they weren't and giving the Travis the ball at all. Like, no. So he was pissed off. And I think it was right after Pacheco fumbled yeah. or something like that. Pacheco fucked up or someone fucked up with the pass. And he's like, why are you not giving me the ball? Like, right, why am like, I not in right now? On, yeah. Right, exactly. And yeah, I, at first it seemed like he pushed him a little bit, but I think yeah. he just was yelling so loud that Andy was going. No, like, if oh. you look, if you look closely, he he comes up to him and goes to grab his arm. Yeah. And in that exact moment, he like, Andy Reid like yeah. freaks, jumps up, freaks yeah. out, and is like, "Whoa!" And then because you see immediately after that, he like goes back down. Yeah. And Travis still yelling, and he's kind of like, "Blah blah blah." Yeah. Whatever. He's, he was like, he was like. Um, 
Travis was just like testing to see if my hip was still good. Exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I, it's just again, a, it's they a all heat of the moment. Heat you of the can't moment. Judge someone. They with have how a, they act during a high stakes Super Bowl game. Like you're gonna win your third in the row. Mm-hmm. Like you're pissed off. Your 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 team's not playing well. Mm-hmm. You you're gonna have a adverse reaction, obviously. And I think if you're judging people how they based off how they react during a game, like. That's not a that's not a um, good example of their character. I don't think. I agree completely. Yeah. I also um, think that because it's a game and because Andy Reid is his coach, they have a different dynamic. Yeah, like they, they yeah. all they're football players. They yeah. yell at each other. They yell at the coach. They yell. They let those those things get the best of them. They're they're playing an intense game, and like you said, the stakes are high. And, yeah, and it's so it's different. I, I um. If it were anyone else, I probably would have rolled my eyes. <laughs> I would have been like, oh, who's this macho man? Yeah, like, yeah. The amount of like grace that I'm giving mm. Travis Kelsey, just because, and I, I, I've said a million times, that the the like big football player guy, like macho man, like I know we, we know now that he's not, he's not that yeah, guy. Yeah. But when guys are like that, that's my least favorite mm. kind of person. So whenever I see... That kind of like, like you know, bro yeah. shit. Yeah. I'm always like, uh, roll my eyes. See, I, th- I thought it was like kind of hot. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't alone in that. You yeah. weren't alone in that. There were like, plenty of people who second. thought like, that. Why do I kind of like there that? There were plenty yeah. of people who who said that and thought that. And in my head, like, it, it's all it's all about the the time and place. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, sure. Like, ooh, don't ooh, don't yell at me. <laughs> yeah. Like, I would like to see him like defending someone or something. Mm. Like, if he's yeah, yelling like, on behalf he, of like he, instead of like stomping his feet over stick football, up for his girl, hundred like, percent. Yeah. We love that. Yeah. So we love that. No worries there. Andy Reid is fine. Yeah. Everybody was like, Andy Reid doesn't deserve. It. I'm like, he's fucking fine. Yeah, like, he's, he's fine. Relaxed. And Andy loves Travis, and Travis loves Andy. Exactly. They have a really good relationship. Great relationship. And it's like a father son thing. I think completely. We're yeah. not worried about it at all. Yeah. So, um, so right. So everybody's up in the suite having a good time. Oh, also with Ice Spice, um, Riot was there as well. Yeah, that's her producer, I think. Oh, is he? Yeah. I was wondering what their relationship the was. I thought her, maybe they, I was like, are they dating or something? I don't know, but in I the beginning of her songs, like she'll always be like, "Stop playing with me, Riot." Oh, always. Yeah, yeah. You're so right. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure that's his like producer tag. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Okay. And which was a, it was very funny to see Ice Spice up there just having a good old time. Taylor's like explaining to her like Hilarious. what's going on, like. Ice Spice, Ice Spice meeting Jason Kelsey. Is Ice Spice, like, she just stays giving us nothing in the face. <laughs> like she just has. She's Except just for that like, one picture where everyone's like staring. Like, oh yeah. At the t- oh, and yeah. she's like somehow found the camera. She's like, she's straight up. Yeah. She's, I love her. Like I no, love Ice Spice. It's funny. Like she, yeah. she really is cracking. My, my brother loves her too. My brother has a got a for Christmas a chia pet of Ice Spice. Oh my Spice. god, that's hilarious. And I don't know if he set it up. He's never sent me pictures. I have to. Stay tuned for Thursday. If, my bro- yeah. if I get my brother to send me, I'm gonna text him right now. Did you put together? The I ice I just I love her. I love her energy, and I, I and it's it, what a motley, not motley crew, but like I feel like Ice Spice just like what does she talk about with Jason Kelsey? Like what is Jason? Right. And I'm the, also also curious. the way that he introduced himself to her. Like he like gave Taylor a big like, hug, she, and he was yeah. like, "Oh, how are you?" Yeah, like I like was, he like, like do leaned you think down. Taylor said like, "Oh, this is my friend Ice Spice," or like, "Do you think she's like hi? Like I'm Ice," or like, "Do you think she uses her government name?" Or so I looked up her government name. Yeah. Um, and her name is Isis. So oh. I think like okay, she probably goes by Ice. Yeah, yeah. yeah Ice. That makes sense. It's like then. Ice is something something. Okay. You know, okay. So that her, makes sense. So she introduces you know, herself as Ice for sure. So it, it makes yeah. sense. Because so in my head, funny. I was like, "What is she going to say? Hi, I'm Ice Spice." Like, yeah. that's crazy. But Ice. So or many Isis funny makes moments sense. from that. Like Jason Kelsey. Like there's so many memes. Like, are you the girl who made the fart song? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just it's just you never. It's like the multiverse is is it's combining. Everybody. Yeah. It's all. Everybody's all at once. Jason yeah. Kelsey. He's another one with his overalls and his I shirt. That man. Not get enough of his energy, and I like it because I feel like he takes the spotlight away from Taylor a little bit, which I appreciate. Totally. Like, there's a super super funny clip. Not to jump ahead, but uh, at the after party, oh Taylor and Travis are dancing to "Love Story." It's so cute, and the camera pans over. And <laughs> Travis is on top of the DJ booth. Like, Jason, yeah, <laughs> yeah, just like going with like a crazy. mask on, with, yeah, like with a, a with a wrestler mask yeah, on. Yeah, like the he's the probably drunk out of his mask mind. Or like whatever. Kylie Kelsey's nowhere to be seen. He's having Kylie the time of his life. There. So so funny. He's Hilarious. just bumbling around. He rem- he gives me like Jack Black vibes, kind of big time. Which yeah. again. 
is is yeah. shit I don't like. But for some reason, these the Kelsey brothers, they they they're, get the pass. Yeah, for me. they're just everything they're, they do makes me laugh. Yeah, they they're just so likable. Yeah, and you know that Jason is such a good guy. Totally, and like, I think that's a big part of yeah, it. Like we just yeah. know that they're such good guys. Yes, and we've seen and how sweet they are. So their authentic, family, yeah. right? It's so it like totally negates like. I don't think that those guys are like the bro machismo losers because I've seen them be like sensitive real people. Yeah, and they cry together and they they show their emotions. So sweet. So sweet. So good. So yeah, I I really was happy for Jason just having the time of his life and his overalls going crazy. Absolutely fantastic. Love it. Love him. Um, so yeah, he he's hanging out. Ke- uh, Kylie Kelsey was talking to Taylor Swift briefly. Yeah. I forget how tall she is always I know. until I see her next to Taylor. I'm like, oh no, she's tall. Yeah, Kylie Kelsey's really she's, tall. She's tall. And yeah. so um, talking with Taylor and Scott. Yep. And um, yeah, they're just having a great old time up in the booth, having a like. It was interesting when they showed them in the booth here and there when things weren't going well yeah they didn't really they show them very super often. nervous super nervous yeah they didn't show them very often which i think was i'm sure intentional yeah oh wait i've totally forgot too oh. did you see taylor talking to roger goodell i did yeah Ew. i saw dave uh Ew. retweeted it get away from Hate. her get away yeah. from her leave get just yeah. leave <laughs> yeah leave stay her alone her. Yeah. get a job yeah. leave her alone <laughs> <laughs> good job stay away from her get, get, get yeah. the lovato up in here yeah, yeah. but yeah. um <laughs> <laughs> no, like for real. What the fuck? Like, get out, Roger Goodell. Yeah, get out. Like, I'm whatever. So, he probably took his one chance to see I'm her. Sure. And, like, she has to be nice to him. She and, entertained like, it, yeah, and it whatever, was all fine. Roger. Whatever. Get out. So yeah. anyway, that's all happening. They're having a great time. But they right. So they weren't showing them as much as as like they have in the yeah. past. And every time they did show like the nervous moments, I was like, it made me even it made more me nervous. nervous. I was like, oh my she God. was because she was like biting her nails, and Picking I was like, her nails, honestly, biting girl, her nails. Like that's when I know that we're the same because I do the yeah. same thing. I always bite my nails when I'm nervous or like having anxiety. And yeah, they, there was like they just were all standing, like no one was talking really or hugging, except she did chug. She chugged with Ashley during. I think that was during the halftime. Um, during halftime, they showed her like with the with her name underneath. They and, showed like, a big thing. Yeah, I don't so know when. I think when. they went through all the celebs and they obviously showed. And her. she was because she was clearly prepared, and they were yes, like intentionally yeah. chugging for yeah. it. So it must have been. Yeah, it must have been. Which I thought was like, like fuck yeah. Let's take a look at all the stars, and they did. They showed everybody who else was all there. It was like Beyonce uh, and Jay Z, Beyonce and Jay Z were Bieber there, and Haley, Haley Justin Bieber. And Haley. Kim was there. Kim. Kylie, Kendall was there. Or mm-hmm. I don't know if Kylie was there, but Kendall was there. Kim, Kendall, Chloe. Col- for Chloe sure. was there. Yep. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't know if I saw uh, Kylie. Paul Rudd is a big Chiefs fan. He yep. was there. Yep. Yep. And I'm to who else? Not, 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 not Jason anyone. Jason Sudeikis, I think, was there. Oh. I mm. thought. Yeah, probably. I don't know. Machine Gun Kelly. Okay. Oh yeah. Um, uh, Megan Fox was there. Yeah. Uh, um, huh. But yeah, a lot of people. Yeah. Um. Just a really exciting, exciting game overall. Wait, and now, now that we're in like the football moments, oh. I have a. Oh, is that that stat? Let's see. Yeah, the stat thing. I screenshot it so we can read it. All right. Yeah. So first half of the game, we were nervous. The Chiefs were down. It was 10-3, 49ers. We were like, oh fuck. But then we realized, oh, we have nothing to worry about mm. because thirteen is always on our side. Right. So here's a little breakdown of all of the 13s, okay? Lucky number 13. Uh, these are the notable 13s. Super Bowl 58, 5 plus 8, 13. 13. February 11th, 2 plus 8, 13. 13. Versus the 49ers, 4 plus 9, 13. Oh, shit. Halftime score, 10-3, 10, 10 plus 3, 13. Oh, my God. Chiefs, 2023 wins with Kelsey, 13. Love. And the play's... On game winning drive was 13 yards. Wow! And when that happened, I was I, I was really locked in at the end of the game, and like I just you know, I've 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 seen more football games than I let on. Like I know the rules. Right. I know the rules of football. Yeah. I don't pay close attention to like the little things, but I'm watching. And I'm like you know standing up like a, like my dad. I know. And they call Patrick Mahomes cuts through and makes that big drive down the middle yeah. right at the yeah, end. Yeah, when he's, you get that and first. He, and uh, when they announced, yeah. they're like, Patrick Mahomes, blah, 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 13 yards. I literally was like, 13 yards? I yeah. was like, it's over. And then the <laughs> next the next like minute, it was over. That's I was awesome. like, I can't believe yeah. that this happened. I can't believe I heard him say 13 yards. I can't, it was just, it was so it many. It's so crazy how the universe it's works. It's fucking yeah. nuts. Yeah. And I feel like there were even more than that somehow. But that was, the, the one that I saw was was just that. But it's like, 
unreal yeah. Yeah. shit. Yeah. Unreal yeah. shit. And I did get worried that it was going to work in, the, in our opposite favor because Brock Purdy, our guy, is number 13. Mm, I saw so that, too. So I was too. like, oh, yeah, no, yeah, is yeah. he going to get the, the, the shine? The special, yeah. But you no. know, whatever. Who if knows? anything, that just went towards Taylor's it just ended up juju. Yeah, yeah it just, yeah. was just bad, bad vibes for him. Yeah. And I do feel they worked really hard. It was a really good game. The 49ers played well. If we're being real, I think that they played better than the Chiefs for most of yeah, the game. Yeah, their defense was insane. Insane. Yeah. And so so it was a definitely a tough loss for them, I'm sure. We feel bad. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. I don't care. Sorry, I hate 49ers. But like, whatever. And I hate 49ers fans. So. <laughs> Do you? Are they yeah. shitty? I the Eagles and the 49ers because we, oh, they we have to beef. play each other if we – or last year we played each other to go to the Super Bowl. And I think oh. Niners fans are a bunch of crybabies. We're in the same division. Got so it, got it, got it's, it. a, it's a little NFC. bit of a rivalry. Don't like the Niners. And, Damn. you know – you know who is a Niners fan, so fuck him. Damn. Oh, fuck him. Yeah, fuck oh, him. Oh, ew. Yeah, All right, we're it. over it. We're yeah. over it. Cry about it. Boo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Stomp exactly. on your fucking grave. Love it. Exactly. Okay, good. Good. Then I have no I have no guilt whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> um, perfect. So the game was nuts. The confetti starts falling. The mm. Chiefs win. We're wondering, is she going to go on the field? Yeah. She's got to go on the field. She's got to go on the field. She had to, You know, yeah. whatever. There was a time, obviously, they brought everybody up on the podium. They're giving out the Lombardi Trophy. Yeah. They're giving out. They're giving speeches. Mahomes is up there. Travis is up there. Brittany and everybody is all up there. This kid, yeah. The kids are there. Everything's going on. Travis is up there by himself. I, I didn't expect her to go That would be crazy, the, yeah, yeah. I think. That would yeah. be crazy. It's too and much. so I'm glad that, that, that she didn't. Oh, no. Oh, hold on. Oh, Screensaver. Have we? We've just been gabbing. Ga- yeah. We're in a different. We're in a different location today. I don't know if you guys can tell. We're in a different studio than we usually are. Should pop um, up soon. Cool. There Perfect. Yeah. So um, that was great. They hand the mic to Travis, <laughs> and he. Viva Las Vegas. Oh, he sang God, the Travis. Viva Las Vegas commercial. I can't with that. And, <laughs> the, and then the fight. Viva and Las Vegas. Yeah. I was like, I knew what he was doing, but I was like, we're really, we're doing oh, the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Doing they're the doing thing. the whole thing. And Taylor's and face right. was like. Taylor's face. Yeah, Taylor had, finally, can everybody get off my dick? When we said last time we were saying this, and I was like, yeah, she like, you know, she's like cringing in the way that she's rolling her eyes. Yeah, like, but that's it's my like, man. yeah, yeah. Not in a mean way. No. Just being like, oh, God. Like, yeah. that kind yeah. of vibe. And I, we said that last week, and we put the clip out, and everybody was giving us yeah. shit, being like, she was not cringing. She loves him. I'm like, no, no, no. She's cringing at yeah, that. Like, she's sorry, being like, but fuck. Like, you can't not cringe You at can't that. not cringe. Yeah. And cringing at something doesn't automatically mean that you hate them. Yeah. Like, you can just, just like, be like, oh, oh God. God. Like, like, here he goes again. You here know he goes I mean? again. Yeah. And that's exactly what yeah. happened. Yeah. But again, he's he won the fucking Super Bowl. Yeah. Be, you yeah. can say whatever you want. Act however you want. Whatever. Then we get the, just, the, first of all, my favorite moment personally mm. is she started blowing kisses at him yeah, up on he, the yeah. thing and he blew him back so cute. and the side by sides of those yeah are, those pictures are, are so like bring me to tears yeah like it is the uh, i like honestly could cry like it's something about it just so like, magical and so, so magical. romantic and just so quintessential like rom-com unbelievable storybook ending it's Ugh. so good yeah. and then he comes comes down the the speeches are over everything he's back on the yeah. field gives his mom a hug she got out of the way quick donna was like hug love you let's talk later yeah you know whatever go to, go, then he go goes right girl. into taylor's arms yeah Huge he said something kiss. like he said, come here girl he said or, like, come here baby girl. girl yeah yeah or come something here, like baby that. girl or something like that come here girl might have been that yeah and then he so said was cute. it electric yeah <laughs> Was it electric? <laughs> you just won the Super Bowl. Was it electric? Yeah, it's so cute. Like, and that's so like Travis is like, oh um, like, like the way he talks. The way he talks. Yeah, yeah. Was yeah, it electric? Yeah. She's like, it was incredible. It was, it was amazing. amazing. It was the yeah. craziest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, Kissing, so cute, hugging each other. Like they hugging. just like her, the way her eyes were closed. Like, oh. You can tell that she was just like. And his muscles. Were I felt like so I was. I felt like I was in that hug. Like, I felt like I was in that. Like you hug. could feel like the just a pure love and like it's palpable through the his screen. His muscles were bulging wait how about this through his Dude. uniform Dude. and the way that he was probably squeezing her so tight like, uh, he was sweaty i was like she doesn't even care how sweaty he is right now no, he was I, like like, like i face. was sorry but like i would literally <laughs> like <laughs> i would literally like the sweat off him i don't care like he's so hot the super bowl yeah. sweat yeah yeah no like i was i was saying last night i was like i because in that moment i was i was 
watching it and seeing it and he was dabbing sweat and I was like oh my god he's so sweaty she doesn't even care there's someone yeah. in love yeah and in my head I was like mm, I just I don't I think I would still care that's how that's how no, in, you that's wouldn't. how impossible I that I am would. I don't think you I'm would. so in impossible moment, that I'd be like "Ooh, you're sweating yeah. I wouldn't say it I'd be like oh my god you're sweating so much yeah. it's like no fucking shit <laughs> I just won the Super Bowl ew you're sweaty I'm, I'm, I'm high maintenance like that yeah what, what was I about to bring up something important. something about his muscles no oh oh <laughs> oh I wish though but no <laughs> Uh, this clip of I don't know what announcer it is. Let's play it. Know we want to talk about football right now, but as I look at Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift, we've been talking about the relationship all year long. That right there is special. Mm. That woman is damn near in tears. Uh, Travis is emotional. That's real love. Yeah. That's what you can get when you have the good support of a woman behind you. He has had one hell of a season. That's beautiful. That's what you get when you have yeah, the support of a woman. good woman yeah. behind you. I love it. I don't know who who that announcer was. Um, I assume whoever Probably, was on yeah. on TV. I don't know who that who that announcer was, but I loved those words. Yeah, it was so sweet because really, what a moment! Yeah, like, what a a storybook a storybook moment. Yeah, the confetti falling, Ugh. the kissing, the love, the families on yeah. the field. Donna like, it's was just, crying. Travis Donna's was crying. crying. Like it was just everyone. So everyone is just you know beside themselves. It's it's yeah. just it's absolutely magical. And I was I wrote a blog uh, about this last night. Because I was like, you know, winning the Super Bowl, what is it hard? I've made that joke mm. like five times today. Yeah. And um, in that blog, I said that I think that people are so quick to hate this, doubt this. And, and I'll take accountability as well for this. In the beginning mm. with Travis, when I didn't like him and thought <laughs> that he was like clout chasing on Taylor. Um, <laughs> it's like, I, I think that so many of us don't want to believe that this is just genuine because we're all like miserable like we've all just been miserable <laughs> for so long yeah and we've been taught like life isn't like the movies like yeah. life is life isn't fair like blah 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 whatever that we can't even like when when just goodness something that we mm. can appreciate and feel nice about is presented to us we're hit over the head with it yeah we still can't accept it because we're like no 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 way like yeah i don't even want <clears throat> to believe that yeah happiness this like exist. this yeah, exists yeah. i also think it has to do a lot with like football too because like if your team loses mm -hmm. and then you see travis kelsey and taylor swift like making well, that out of you're like fucking god damn it this is bullshit right you don't enjoy so, like, yeah, right? you yeah. don't enjoy that but i just mean for for like people that are haters of of taylor right. and travis or of this whole spectacle like everything about it i just think like we were given something fun and yeah. loving and exciting and they have a you know an and excellent it's like hopeful like, it's like oh, it's i want to love like that yeah it's hopeful yeah. it's it's you know it's wonderful to see mm -hmm. and it's a great example and we've seen who's who's our guy that said those that nice stuff a long time ago who we oh, loved um um, <laughs> um basketball player yes um, what's his name what is his name oscar no not oscar um, no yeah i think he so. sings hold on hold on hold on hold on um, um i think you're um, right about oscar it's something like that. Hold on. What's the what's the singing um, show called? With oh, oh, a mass ma singer. Mass singer. Yes, mass singer. Um, NBA player. What is his name? Because he said that Victor Oladipo. Victor Oladipo. Yes, yes, yes. Victor, Victor Oladipo, Oladipo called it from day from one. From day yes. one, he said all yes, those kind yes, things, and yes. I just think that like. That is the vibe we should all have for this. Like team, you know, sports parts aside, yeah. we were handed this rom com to show us that like life is worth living. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like I just I feel like literally like life is worth living. Look at this. I'm not kidding. Like for real though. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hilarious. like people have been so fucking yeah. miserable for so yeah. long, and it just it feels like it gets worse and worse every day with this mm -hmm. hatred online. Like it drives me insane. Like I you know I, I don't know. I, maybe I'm too in it or something. But seeing this yeah. and watching this and seeing like two s young, successful people be in love and have good family values and, and respect yeah. and like all this shit. Supporting each other. Supporting yeah. each other, like yeah. breaking down, you know, like bending uh, like gender norms, like who cares who makes more money, mm -hmm. who cares like you know, they're true equals. Like yeah. it's just so inspiring. Yeah. And I think that it's time <clears throat> for all the haters to just like, Accept it for what it is, a nice thing. It's just nice. All of this is nice. Yeah. You can just enjoy 
somebody being in love. You can enjoy so- someone else's success. You can feel hopeful yeah. that you could find a love like Taylor and Travis. Yeah, you can totally. Feel, you're allowed. You're allowed to feel hopeful. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's a lesson we all need to learn, myself included. That's what I'm saying. It's not like I, I am not innocent in this. I am a very negative person. I'm, I know. So am I. Am, I. And, and that's my, from the jump, I'm negative. Like, you start off bad and you work your way up to good. Like, yeah. I automatically hate you when I meet you and you have to earn your way. Like, mm. that's just how I have always have been. It's it's not great all the time, but sometimes, you know, it stops me from making mistakes. Right. But, um, but yeah, I think that it just – it's just so nice to Yeah, to it's see. just – it's a real-life rom-com and it's it really just is. so crazy. And it just reminds you that love is real and love is love beautiful. Love is real. Love is real. And life love is, is worth living. <laughs> Life is worth living, yeah. literally. Like that's it. Life. Thank you, yeah. Travis and Taylor, for showing yeah. us that life is worth yeah. living. I'm not yeah. kidding. Like, yeah. thank you. Thank True. you guys. Thank you. Um, in the midst of all of this, we'll we'll talk about the after party mm. in a second because that in itself is just more love, love, love. Mm-hmm. In the midst of all this, I would say like minutes before the Super Bowl ended. Like I don't know exactly the timeline because I didn't see it myself. I only saw clips of it posted on Twitter or like mm. screenshots. Taylor Nation posting. Yeah. Are you ready for well, it? Well, there was a Disney Plus commercial. Right. There was a yeah. Disney Plus commercial during the Super Bowl for Eras Tour going on Disney Plus. But, or, no, it, but was it was like a bunch of different things. It wasn't and then the really. Last, it was like a bunch of different quotes from different movies and stuff. Right. And then the last line was dot, 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 ready for ready it, for question it. mark. And then the commercial ended. And I was like, whoa. Yeah, like what's going on but here? But then it was... It was quickly of course, shut down. Just the Aeros Tour is going on Disney+. Aeros Tour is going on Disney+, yeah. which we already knew. It's like, why do you have to use the reputation one? I don't know why. That's what I'm saying. Everything is everything is weird. Also, wait, something we didn't point out. Uh, we're getting a lot of two imagery. Did we talk about this last week? Oh, the two. On Thursday? Yeah, no, we didn't. The twos. She's yeah. been doing putting up two, two, two yeah. everywhere. She did it at the Grammys. She did it at her show in show. Japan. And then there was two lines to the cake. Two lines to the cake and all that you think about yeah. me. Yeah. Music video. I don't know what There's else. Something's though. going on with two. Yeah. But it didn't. Two like, albums? Could be. But it didn't line up quite right for last week. It was like she did two in the Grammys, and two days from the Grammys, she announced, um, or, or she gave the album list, title list, the title tra- track list. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Two days after the Grammys, she gave the track list. Yeah. And then two days after that, she announced uh, Eras Tour. Oh. Okay, Par- uh, uh, the longer version, right? Okay, with the uh, extra songs. With the extra shit. Yeah. So people thought it was going to be like another uh, two days, and something else was going to be announced. And something else was going to happen, and nothing ever happened. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. Nothing's happening. Yeah, I think I'm everyone, not getting down yeah, the clown. Yeah, we can't. I'm we out. Can't clown I'm out anymore. of the game. Unfortunately, I'm out of the game. yeah. It'll happen when it happens, and it'll be a wonderful surprise. Yeah. My only issue with not anticipating it is that I worry that I'm going to like be asleep or drunk mm. or, or something like. Yeah, not drunk, but. I feel like we'll know maybe like the day of, like all the signs will start pointing, right. and you know. I think day of we can speculate, but mm-hmm. we can't fall for the traps that come no. like now. You can't know? fall like, for the traps. Oh, and six days means six weeks, and on this date means this that. You know what I mean? So like we'll we just we'll take it day by day. Take it day yeah. by day. Yeah. So that's yeah. that. So uh, t- shout out Taylor Nation for perpetuating the trolls. Yeah. It, we've learned our lesson. I didn't even. I didn't even flinch. I, I was did like, a little. Please. I didn't even. I, I was like, and Madeline. No way. Madeline was so quick. She was like, "Isn't that just for?" Yeah, that's Aristotle. why I said. I was like, "God damn it, Madeline!" Are you Immediately, pooping? I said. Yeah. But um, yeah. No, it's. Not during the Super Bowl. Not during Travis's big moment. No, no, no. No, no way. Not she his never. big moment. Yeah. She would never. So, um, Super Bowl ends. Confetti is fallen. Love, love, love. And then we head to the after parties. Yeah. Where there was even more love. Yeah. Everyone was hammered drunk. Yeah. It seems. Jason was stumbling all over the place. Jason was everywhere. <laughs> First, we had the Chainsmokers DJing. Yeah. Cool. Love it. They played uh, the Love Story remix. Yep. Or no, I'm sorry. They played Love Story and You Belong. I think it was just. Oh. They played You Belong With Me remix because Travis went into the booth with the Chainsmokers. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. But I think. Was it not the Chainsmokers the entire time? No, no, because it was Marshmallow for Love Story. Oh. Because I, because they they panned over, they did Love Story and they panned over to Jason. Yes, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. So Chainsmokers did You Belong With Me remix. Yeah. And Travis ran up into the booth. Turned around to Taylor, pointed, you belong yeah. with me. And she's in the back with her drink like, oh, yeah, it's so cute. hilarious, cute, adorable, really fun. There was something, someone made a funny joke about Joe Alwyn. Ugh, it, Running into the car. I keep seeing everybody. Yeah. Everyone keeps like 
bringing out those videos how too. They, how they him, walk like, rushing, like so slow, rushing and, her into yeah. the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dragging her by her arm into the car. That yeah. was so Compared. crazy. Like it's so crazy watching those back. I hate I hate playing the comparison game. Well, now I mean you know maybe I won't hate so much or I won't hate comparing and talking shit so much once we once we hear the new album. But right. Um, I always felt bad when they would show the difference between like them running out of a place and him like dragging her versus like the way that Travis is so careful. Yeah. However, like, you know, you never know at the time, but watching those videos like side by side is fucking such crazy. a difference. It's like, oh my yeah. god. And like, like the he way basically that ripped her arm out of her socket. Like yeah. it's crazy. And they played You Belong with Me and Travis automatically gets up and goes on stage and dances and points to Taylor and then like mm-hmm. Joe like is asked about her once in an interview and he like like doesn't freaks answer the and fuck freaks out. out and like yeah. gets pissed off. Yep. And it's like, okay, well, clearly it shows the difference, I think, at least until we are proven otherwise. Oh but, no, for yeah. sure. I mean, it's it's just a, it's totally, it's all about confidence, and and I don't believe that Joe had the kind of confidence he mm. needed to have to be dating a woman like Taylor Swift. He yeah. just didn't. Um, so you belong with me. That exchange happens. Then we get to uh, the video that I've watched. Mm, I don't know how many times at this point. A, a million. Yeah. Like no joke, a million. Like, yeah. It's actually crazy. Where it's now Marshmallow DJing, playing the Love Story remix, and we see Taylor and Travis yeah. dancing together, singing to each other. Yeah, it's so cute. You be the prince, be the- and I'll be the princess. Yeah. Which, by the way, is how I dance to that song whenever it comes <laughs> I know, on. I yeah. do this. I, feel I know. Like, I feel like everyone does that. Yeah. And so she just is, like, dancing like it's us. It's so funny. And... It's a love story, and before baby just say yes, big smooch on yeah, lips, it's so like cute. just love, 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 <sighs> love, and then they continue dancing. Then she backs it up. She's back. Yeah, it up on get, a him. get a girl. Yeah, get a girl. Get a girl. I love it. I love it so much. Like seeing her out. Like the fact that she was in Vegas at the win. It's crazy. It's like we didn't get anything from her for six years, and I've now never... she's at the freaking club dancing to her own music. Like. I don't think we've ever gotten to see that ever. So it's, I've never seen her in the club. Yeah, it was I'm just really, kidding. really nice to see her having so much fun. Like, da- like the fact that she they played her own music is so funny to me. And like, so cute. She fully embraced it, and and Travis embraced it, and everyone was having so much fun. And I just I was obsessed with every single moment, every tidbit, the putting the jacket on her shoulders. Oh, Gia, them no. Them walking out. The fact that well, first of all, she wore that jacket for like most of the night. Like, yeah. They came in, and it was you know whatever. No one has their liquor blanket on just yeah. yet, and so he gives her the jacket, and he's wearing the pants still. Yeah. So when they walk out, they look. Like she's they're wearing the jacket. So he's wearing the cute. pants. By the way, I really did buy those jeans. Oh, good for the you. area jeans. Yeah, which, by the way, I also uh, she's worn them before, or like she has. They looked. I've seen them before. Like something similar, yeah. The shorts. Are they so the same it's the same brand. Yeah, right, same yeah, brand yeah. as the shorts. I think right around then. I don't know if she wore them or someone else wore them, and I saw them, and I knew they were the same brand. Mm. But it was like a few months ago where I debated buying those exact right. jeans and I ended up not being like no don't like stop I buying, love those jeans They're stop so buying crazy cute. jeans like this yeah. And then she wore them again yesterday, and I was like, it took me 30 seconds to mm. justify it. I was like, well, they're black, and I love black. I wear that shit yeah. all the time. I don't care that they're bedazzled. I wear bedazzles on a, on no, a Tuesday. No, bedazzles I'm cool not a, I'm not someone to, like, not not sparkly it up yeah, in no. the week. Like, I don't need Those an pants occasion. are so you. They're I will so wear you. them every day at work. Yeah. Like, yeah. they're fine. So I got them, and they're on the way. They should be here tomorrow. Or uh, oh, quick, Wednesday, I believe. Quick delivery. So I'll be wearing them, uh, hopefully, oh, on Thursday. Perfect. Or for Wednesday's recording, if they arrive in time. Right. Fingers crossed. So um, very exciting stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, they were area is the brand of the pants, by the yeah. way. The top was Dion Lee, Lee yeah. Love. Oh, let's, she let's had talk a little bit about, yeah. She had custom 87 Louboutins. Dude, she had the so amount of cute. custom shit that she had on. Let yeah. me, let's get to my girl. Sorry, I'm, I'm uh, searching Beyonce. I'm like deep in, because Beyonce also <laughs> yeah, announced a new an album. album. Yeah. Congratulations to her. And released a song, Texas Hold'em. It's good. Oh, Country really? song. Country album, country I know. song. I don't, I'm not a country girl. It's, it's not country like... Uh, Okay, like, like uh, too much. And I left yeah. my dog down by the dock <laughs> yeah, last week, and I came skirt, back, and he was drinking yeah. the beer I beer left. On the like, truck, <laughs> and you know my cousin's coming over, and the Daisy Dukes. Yeah, no, I hate that it's shit. not like that. Yeah. It's very, like, it's good, it's good. Okay. I listened to it. So here's all the things she was wearing last night. First, she was wearing a, a Chiefs bomber jacket. Mm-hmm. Um, and then her, her crystal slit jeans, which she already had. Yep. And um, then she also had a custom football clutch bedazzled Judith Lieber. Yes, Judith Lieber. Which is, so cute. You know what? Is the guy, uh, there was a guy that was taking photos with her 
in the booth who like kind of had his hands like uh, like uh, wrapped around her waist like inside her belt loop like it was oh. weird like whatever turns out he is like the Judith Lieber guy okay. so I was like oh because he kept being like so good to me you so glad you like your bag oh, your okay. Judith Lieber bag which you know famously I believe is from the uh Sex in the City so, movie. When she or gets, Sex when the episode, big where gets, gets her, her Judith Lieber bag. And yeah. everybody has the Judith Lieber yeah. bag. So, yeah. This one is shaped like a football, red football. So cute. And has custom 87, 87 on, it. on yep. it. So cute. Um, and then she had the 87 necklace, yep. which was Stephanie Gottlieb. She also had a tennis choker on as well. Gorgeous. I re- Oh, wow. I was about to be like, ooh, I love that tennis choker. Maybe I should get one. How mm, much is just it? Just kidding. $7,500. It's real diamonds. Why did, I, why did I think for a second yeah. it would be real diamonds? I think the 87 necklace was the like $4,500 too, right? Forty two fifty. Yeah. Yeah. Large yeah. varsity pendant. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. Then she had on this that top, the Dion Lee um, cr- uh, crochet corset top, which I don't know if you guys could tell. The there was only like a bandeau up top. We were she's got she had underwear yeah. going on. And I was like, you go girl. She's slang. Slang big time. Yeah. Then we have um this heart earring it was a red heart earring like Cute. that and also a bunch of red rings that mm, she was wearing okay, she was cute. just really crushing it these were all the yeah, last line la at being like the tasteful wag totally you know? Uh, and there's nothing Shala more Karimi. fun than wearing another person's number. Like when my no. when my high school boyfriend was on the it's football cute. team, like I was addicted to wearing his number. It's so cute. like it's so cute and it's so fun. It's like, really I fun. Don't, Especially yeah. where where else are you gonna wear it here? Yeah, like, totally. This is where you wear the fucking Super Bowl is totally. where you wear the number. So yeah, um, I'm trying to look at this girl's name. Shala Karimi was one of the designers, and also uh, Retruve. I don't know these people. The last yeah. line LA I've heard of before, but the mm. others, I don't know. So if you're interested in that, again, Taylor Swift Style has it all. Yep. She was wearing a bunch of necklaces, Shea jewelry, all very expensive. Jeez, she had a really nice bracelet on. Her shoes, yep. The Eleanor suede ankle boots, custom 87 yep. Louboutin, 87 sick. on the side. So sick. Yeah. She had on her little earring cuffs that she usually wears. This is Jackie. Jackie, Jackie Eich, A-I-C-H-E. Really cute. If you like, um, like ear cuffs or like the bracelet or the, the things you put on your, what are they called? It's like a ring, but then it has a chain. Oh yeah, your yeah, bracelet. yeah. Like that, that's a lot of that kind of stuff. Cute. Love, love, love. And let's see. Oh, what was Travis wearing? Oh, Amiri. That was Travis's outfit. Oh, cute. A custom Amiri suit. And Taylor, I like the fit. I thought it was oh, cool. I loved it. Yeah. It says, ooh, and this is fun because look at this drawing of Travis. Oh, slay. Slay trap. Yeah, I love so that. So cute. Yeah. It was so um said, reputation. This, oh, this time my girl Taylor says how. Yeah. This time the jacket around her shoulders is his. Oh. Oh, heading out town, blah blah blah. Custom boucle sequin jacket by Amiri, which is rift from the brand's uh, uh spring summer 24 collection. Cute. Mike and Mary told Women's Wear Daily the look is very much our take on modern tailing, tailoring with a cropped jacket and baggy trouser here made in black boucle fabric woven with palettes to celebrate the showman that he is. Yes, <gasps> he really is. Yeah, I, I love, love that. that. Love. Oh, oh, he oh my God. Slay. I loved it. When it comes to Taylor, she is no stranger to Amiri pieces, having worn a number of them during the Reputation and Lover eras. Ooh. I also wonder if a bit of coordination happened here because the both of them rocking black and silver embellished looks. Hmm. Very cool. Cute, very, very cool. Cute. So that's the that's the fashion update on all that. Yeah. Um. Really, just looked incredible all yeah. night long. She had cool ponytail in her hair with cool braids. Braid. I loved it. Loved, loved the that. look. Everything about it looked amazing. Everything about it looked amazing. I want to talk about really quick Brittany Mahomes. Yes. No. We have to. We have a few things to say. About yes. Her. There's a few, few things, things to say. And I'm so glad you brought it up. First up was the Vegas. They were at a club. Hilarious. And Jackson Mahomes goes up to the bouncer and seems like he says something along the lines of like, my brother's Patrick Mahomes. Yes. And they're not letting him in. And Brittany literally looks over. She's like. Yeah, she and goes. Then yeah, just, she goes. Just, hmm? And then, yeah, and then just starts. Goes, goes back to dancing. <laughs> goes part to play. So funny. Well, but apparently Jackson that. Mahomes was hanging out with. Travis's ex-girlfriend. Well, that's yeah. I heard some shit about yeah. that too, and I don't know what the fuck that was about. Yeah, I but didn't then, see any videos or anything. Neither did I. But then did you see the video of Jackson coming up to Taylor on yes. the field and her? She you, literally her face like, was oh, like, "Oh, hey, Jackson!" Mm. Literally, yeah. "Hey, quick hug." Beeline yeah. it out of there, yeah. and as she should, because yeah. again, he and especially if he's hanging out with Travis, like what a fucking freak. Like, yeah, that's bizarro world. Yeah, weird so I wonder by, if they're weird all just by like, his ex too. If his totally. ex is like, because Jackson is. 
you know, a freak. We know we know that. But he's also kind of young. Mm-hmm. So in my head, I'm like, how old is this girl? Like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. She's got to be in her 30s hanging out with some 20-something-year-old. Yeah, it's like, weird. Her, her exes teammates younger brother yeah. it's like weird vibes don't fucking do but that. i didn't see a lot from Brittany oh, during wait. the game or during the after party so um neither did i so during the game she was in a different she was different in a different suite different suite yeah. which i was like oh i bet she was so pit- i bet she was like oh, i wish i was in the suite with really Taylor. Like, I, I don't know i feel well, she like she's like with her family and her yeah, kids I feel like and i'm sure it's that's like a family moment that you maybe i mean if it was true. if it was someone that cares more about love in their family I feel like you would be like no so I'd true I'm just thinking family. I'm thinking more like you know she's but yeah had, it's like uh, that's definitely like the more fun suite yeah. for sure yeah it's like she you know maybe she stopped by yeah but so um we love her for for blowing off Jackson yeah that incredible, was very incredible funny. she was up on the stage at the end she had a cute like I think it was it must have been red but it looked pink like sequin like, like top dress. dress yeah 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 something yeah, going on cute. not totally sure what that was all about but she looked good but somebody sent me this message and I sent it to you um already about this oh right and I think it's very interesting and it has it's taught me a lesson and I think we should all take this forward okay this girl sent me this dm she said hey Kelly I don't know if you guys have covered this on Taylor Watch or not or if it'd be even relevant but I think it's interesting when Brittany Mahomes did a campaign with Skims the world jumped down her throat for being a traitor but Lana yeah has one and we haven't heard a thing it'd be interesting to, to discuss the two so this is and sometimes we are we are not exempt from the pile on that's unnecessary sometimes with women, and I yeah. hate that it happens like that sometimes. Yeah. you really weren't, or I don't know. No, I don't know. I know that I talked a little bit of shit. We were talking. I major think I said shit. yeah. I think I was just like Brittany Holmes. Mahomes is super annoying. We yeah. were talking shit about the Skims campaign that she did with Patrick. Yeah. Yeah. majorly and yeah. we were like she's not really her friend we w- we went in on her yeah as did a lot of other people yeah. dave went ape shit about that like we all went crazy about that and um lana del rey i saw that she had a skims campaign and i barely even, i didn't, it didn't even, even yeah didn't even register to me i know me neither they were that it was like oh that's taylor's friend and whatever yeah. blah 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 which to me is like that's crazy like, yeah how, how did we did we automatically jump down Brittany mahomes's throat yeah and, and not give her the same kind of grace or or the thought of like oh it's probably nothing like who yeah cares? whatever make yeah. that money who cares like yeah. not a big deal you're getting paid it's money out of kim kardashian's pocket like whatever who cares yeah. it's crazy that we we didn't um do the same or give Brittany yeah. the same courtesy yeah. so uh, yeah. and i i apologies think that, to Brittany. i think yes i think after this whole season has gone down the way that Brittany has acted we've we've said um nice things about her being taylor's friend or whatever i i would like this to stand f- as as my personal apology f- mm. to Brittany mahomes for ever saying anything mean i i or, will stand by that apology as well yeah. yes or like just k- flippant or something yeah. that was like not media not just right. always painted her in such a bad light and like you know you can take clips and videos and shit mm-hmm. out of context and i don't mm-hmm. know i feel like she's definitely toned it down a lot and and we have to remember this the the same media that fed Brittany mahomes to us in this bad light is the same media that's trying to say the same things about taylor Swift. right right and we right. have to remember that right. and 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 remember that it's not reality and that like we know we know that taylor is uh, the way that she is right the media is fucking ridiculous who says that britney is not the same right so i think that uh that we love all that she's done we love that she's doing and that was that's a good lesson i think yeah. for us to have learned agreed and i think yeah so yeah. love love britney yeah congrats to her and her husband congrats to her Pat, Pat. Yep. um fantastic yep. he gave a great Cute speech family did he who's like I, I was kind of confused. Who who won MVP? Patrick. Patrick yeah, did. Okay, yeah, good, yeah. good. Okay. Congratulations to him on, yeah, on winning MVP. Yeah, he deserved yeah. it. I, the, they pulled it out at the end. Like, that was... Yeah. It was unbelievable. Yeah. He really, really was good. Yeah. I loved his speech at the end being like, you know, people need to remember, like, the Kansas City Chiefs are not underdogs. Like, yeah. whatever. And it's crazy that they even were. Yeah, totally. But, um, so this is his third? Third. Third in a row. Third in a row. Yeah. Winning. Yep. That's crazy. So man. crazy. It's so fucking yeah. crazy. Dynasty. People Dynasty. are saying now, like, are they the new Patriots? Of course. Yeah. Like, that's that's what it seems like. Well, that's what I was saying to my mom yesterday. My mom was like, I'm just so sad for Brock Purdy. I was like, Mom, <laughs> he's 24 years old. He's got plenty of time. Yeah. He's younger like, than no me. No big deal. It's crazy. Exactly. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Like, um, it's like he's got plenty of time. He'll for his yeah. own dynasty right now. Patrick's building one, and mm. she was like, "Oh, please! Like, where'd you read that?" And I was like, "I'm just I'm a football I'm a football yeah, fan yeah, now." Yeah, sorry okay? that we're yeah. I know the things. I know everything. Yeah. yeah. But um, let me think. Was that what else? What else happened? So much happened that it's like it's just really hard to keep. I track. feel like we covered everything. I think so too. You belong with me, Jason, Travis's speech, yeah. Brittany Mahomes. Oh, oh. Uh, really quickly. 
guess who's sniffing around trying to trying to get our attention again and get us on their side for no fucking reason. Who? The New York Times. Oh. And and to their I fell victim to that by accident. Yes. Yeah. Well, well, because the message is correct. Yes. I just don't buy it and I mm. now because they're trying to They're trying to yeah. save face. Yeah. So the New York Times published another opinion piece which in my opinion We've had enough opinions coming out of the New York <laughs> Times. As we remember, we discussed on this show a while back, the New yeah. York Times did an opinion piece, published an opinion piece uh, about how Taylor Swift is actually gay. And it was fucking crazy, yeah. psycho shit. Yeah. And Taylor was very upset about it. And Tree Payne put out a whole thing about yeah. it. It was nuts. So um, now they put out an opinion piece over the weekend saying that the the judgment, it, it actually, here, let's let's look at it. Yeah. I was going to bring it up because I up. sent it to you. You bring it up in the DMs. Yeah, um, on Twitter. Yes. Because, again, the sentiment is correct. It just seems very suspicious all of a sudden. Yeah. After, you know, all of a sudden we're trying to jump on getting people Shaquille to be happy. O'Neal. Oh, here oh, we Shaquille go. Shaquille O'Neal also. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shaquille, Shaquille O'Neal got his picture yeah. with Taylor. Shaquille, we've shout out to Shaquille O'Neal. He said, if I see Taylor Swift and get to shake her hand, take a picture, I'll be good. She's a fabulous person. I'm happy for her. I'm proud of her. She's done a, a lot. She's a, definitely a cultural icon. I just want to shake the hand of greatness. It's fabulous. And, and they and got to meet. By the way, in the picture of Shaquille O'Neal and Taylor is hmm. also that Judith Lieber guy. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> that's the picture that oh, he's in. Oh, that's he's funny. Like a, he's like a shorter shorter guy. Okay, so this is what I sent to Kelly. Okay. New York Times published an opinion piece on the recent unnecessary Taylor Swift online discourse. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a Taylor's oldest time, how it's impossible for any woman, whether superstar or mere mortal, to get it right. It's Barbie monologue, Taylor's version. Mm-hmm. You have to have money, but you can't ask for money because that's crass. You have to be a boss, but you p- can't be too powerful. You have to be a career woman, but not ambitious. You have to answer for men's bad behavior, which is insane. Mm-hmm. But if you point it out, then you're accused of complaining. But always stand out and always be grateful, but never forget that the system was rigged. You have to never get old, never be rude, never show off, never be selfish. Selfish. Never fall down, never fail, never show fear, never get out of line. It's too hard and it's too out in fact. Oh, and it turns out in fact that not only are you doing everything wrong, but also everything is your fault. Despite winning pretty much everything, it seems Taylor Swift can't win. Yeah. Yeah, and it makes yep. sense. I mean, like, I feel like it makes total sense. Coming and that's back why. to the peak of her co- career, you know, she's accomplishing all these great things. She's in a great relationship. Everything around, everything that's going on in her life is so positive. The media, Twitter, whatever, people just want to find any reason to get her. They can't handle to, it to dull her shine or, or bring her back down to earth or whatever it is. And yeah, they can't handle people it. People are so miserable that they cannot accept. S- success. Yeah. They cannot accept that someone is a good person, yeah. and doing things the right way, and and just living her life, yeah. and including fans in on that life. Yeah. They cannot process it, yeah. and so they need to tear it down. They're afraid. I think people are afraid of Taylor Swift. Yeah. Like, I think that's really what it is. Like they're afraid of. They think she has power. <laughs> they think that she has like the ability. Have you seen all the discourse online about like the pl- the presidential election? People are like. Oh, they whoever want her to say. both sides are like campaigning for Taylor like they and, and then preemptively people are on on the right are being like well they're the ones uh well this is what people are saying I'm not saying this Twitter is saying this I don't want I don't want anybody to get it twisted I'm yeah. not I'm not I don't I'm not political in this way right. I'm just repeating political thoughts that I see people say all of the like carbon emission stuff mm. started by the the right mm. because they were like oh you're you're like liberal savior right, right, look at right. what she's doing right. like so people are trying to like get ahead of it right. to discredit her mm. before she like puts uh puts it uh, what's the word like endorses a, endorses before she yeah. endorses someone for president right and she said nothing about pol- if she's smart she says nothing I agree she says I don't nothing. know why our political because they're right she does carry a lot of weight no totally like, I get I that, that but like the fact that our our presidency is relying on a pop star is it's crazy. so stupid. It's so crazy. Like, form your own fucking opinions, form your own thoughts. Like, it just, it's crazy to me that Joe Biden is, like, on his hands and knees begging her for a fucking endorsement. Like, how yep. about you, like, use your words? I, I No, I, it's, it's wild. I, yeah. I don't like either. So it's just, no, like, like, it's like, yeah, Everybody's I don't like terrible. anybody. So it's just, like, it's just, it's saying to me that they both are relying on Taylor Swift. And I get why, for sure, because totally. whoever she says she endorses, so many people will vote for for sure and like right. you saw that with the Nashville with uh, Miss Americana Go and all that stuff yep but 
yeah, it just it just doesn't make sense to me to to have a pop star be the catalyst in our in our U.S. election. Like right. it's just it's crazy to me, and it's too much pressure to put on one person. Absolutely. And yeah, I think if she's smart, she'll just say nothing. I, and people will call her a coward for it, whatever. But people have been, and you I'm can never like, win. You can't whatever, win, man. right? You cannot again win. with the fucking thing. You can't win. No matter what you say, you can't win. And yeah. so right, so I hope she stays out of it as long as she can. Who knows if she's gonna be able to like. Because she has been pretty outspoken about politics. Like, she, she made In that the past, switch. yeah. Miss Americana, she made that switch. So now she's kind of at a tough spot. Like, if she never mentioned it ever, it could be like, well, Taylor never talks politics. Yeah. This time around, it's like, well, what's louder? Saying something or not saying something? Right, So right. it's all these things to weigh. And who knows? And I, I'm, you know, I feel terrible that she's in that kind of position. It sucks. But that is, like, people are afraid of her. People are afraid of the power that she holds, yeah, totally. the influence that she has. And so they do anything they can to tear her down mm-hmm. and dull her shine, like you said. Mm-hmm. And it's just, uh, it's shocking. But so while the message behind that opinion piece of the New York Times is correct, w- is correct yeah. and I'm sure well-intentioned to a certain extent, we don't fucking forget New York Times. No. We no, don't forget. No, we you know can't what you ride did. The, you can't ride this wave because mm. you feel like it's time. Mm-hmm. You were you were cutting her down, mm-hmm. you know, three weeks ago. Mm-hmm. So slow your fucking roll. Yeah, yeah, totally agree. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. I think that, that that's enough with that. Yeah. Oh, we have, let's see what we have up next in the next couple of oh, weeks. Oh, we got Australia. Australia up Melbourne. next. Melbourne. Melbourne. And then Sydney, for right? For three. Yeah, we've got Melbourne on February 16, 17, 18. Nice. And then we have Sydney on the 20, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th. Oh, nice. So she has a couple days in between. She does. So she'll nice. be in Australia is from I hope the that 16th Travis to, goes the to the Sydney show. 26th. People say that he will. I, I looked it up. The Chiefs parade is on Wednesday. Yeah, that's what I would figure. It's usually right. very soon. Like so very it, close after the Super Bowl. So... Right. So he, uh, oh, and also, by the way, uh, Sabrina Carpenter is with her all through <gasps> Australia yes. and Singapore as well, which, oh, is really? right, which is right after. Yes. Yep. Sabrina Carpenter is I there. Oh my it. God. And then it's my show. <gasps> it's so soon. Wow. Right after Singapore. May what? May. May 10th. May 10th. Nice. Oh my God. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw up. I'm I can't so believe jealous. it's so soon. Fuck. Me and okay. my mom were trying to look at tickets because they're, we're, we're thinking maybe Canada. Because they're so expensive everywhere. They're crazy everywhere. I was like, do you want to go to like Warsaw? (laughs) She was like, no. (laughs) (laughs) No, I'm not interested. I don't know what we're going to do about like Miami and stuff. I know. Miami Miami is. Anyone's ever even going to be able to get in there. The tickets are insane for Miami. The tickets are like $2,000 for nosebleeds. It's crazy. It's insane. We need Dave to step in. Although, I don't know. Like, me and Dave have a relationship to repair at this point. I know. You guys need to to have a. You guys need to have, need a, have a, a sit seance. down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A yeah. little, little sit-down heart heart. relationship. Yeah. yeah, right? Yeah. I just need to make sure we're still good on, on the Swifty front. I think so. I think we're good. He yeah. was texting about it the other day. Oh, not, nice. not, we didn't talk about it at all in the this Super Bowl. This weekend? Okay. Oh, no, no, no. But he was busy. He was in Vegas. Yeah. So. Yeah. Anyway, um, so we have... Uh, that's exciting. Travis did say, remember to that reporter that one time, like, oh, I hope to get down under or whatever. So yeah, I, it's yeah. a long time that she's there. Maybe they'll go there. Maybe he'll meet up for one of the shows in Sydney and then maybe yeah, they'll head over to Singapore. That's the least he can do. Least After he she fucking do. traveled all over the goddamn least world for him. Do. Yeah. Oh, and at PSA, uh, Melbourne, Australia is 16 hours ahead. Okay. As, um, as Japan was 14 hours ahead. So... Just touch something really 2 a.m. Oh, gross. Yeah. So 2 a.m. is the time that it will start. Oh. Surprise songs probably around, let's see. Four? Four. No, no, no. It's, let's see. It started at four, and the surprise songs were like 6.30. So if it starts at two. Then like 4.30? 4.30. So okay. like around 4.30 a.m. probably surprise songs. Just letting you guys know. E- yeah, East yeah. Coast time. I'm, I am having a lot of fun with the time zone thing. Okay. So I'm enjoying it so far. Okay. I'll wake up and see so I can tweet about it. I just like I just like it. I yeah, I get that. Yeah, I think it's yeah. Fun. I'm sure I'll lose steam on it. But for now, we're having a good time. All right. We've talked enough. Yeah. All right? I think so. I think we covered all the bases. Great, great weekend. To great be. Another weekend. great weekend to be Swifty. Two Another. Grammy wins and a fucking Super Bowl win. What more could you ask for? Not much. Two, yeah. two, two fabulous, supportive lovely kind generous talented superstars in their own right landing on top what more could you ask for what seriously more could you ask for? It's, it's beautiful nothing. and Absolutely and nothing. i think um a, a interviewer asked asked travis after the game like like w- like uh what other couple in the world like can experience something yeah. like this and she yeah. and he was like 
like we know we're so lucky yeah, like yeah. like we feel like we're on top of the world and and i'm excited for it to keep going and of course it's just it's a beautiful thing it's just wonderful yeah so okay um we will see you guys on thursday reminder yep. that thursday is when you get to call in text or dm if you'd like to call or text yep the number is 347-450-0723 and or you could dm uh taylor watch instagram yep um please subscribe to all of our channels yep keep the lights on for us yes we're we're people are saying nice things inside the office yeah people like it yeah so we want to keep it going please subscribe please uh leave comments do whatever you want yep. and we will see you all on thursday yay love you guys love you